All right, guys, let's uh, start whipping up the hamburger bun dough. So I'm doubling the recipe because, like I said, i got a big family and we like to eat. So um, what I'm going to do, I'll put a, a flash screen here so you can see the exact measurements. And I'm just going to add them so you can watch me. But here's some water. Oh, of course, the kids start yanging for me as soon as I hit the go button, but that's life. Seems like they do that when it's, uh, when the phone rings too. But, so I think what I'll do is I'll speed it up here. You guys can uh, watch. And yeah, like I said, you'll, you'll see the ingredients list. You see how it's kind of come together now I'm going to set the timer for five minutes and let this do its work for five minutes all right five minutes is up and you can see it all came together um, even more so got all the stuff off the sides and all that stuff um, I got a couple of babies in here so you'll hear some squawking but this dough is going to be a bit stickier dough than say if I was to make bread because um, we added eggs to it or an egg for single recipe but I'm doubling it up so if I was making a single recipe I'd leave it right in this bowl to rise but I, since I'm making a double one I got out a bigger bowl so um, I'm just gonna grease this this bowl and we gotta let this rise for about an hour and a half so in the meantime I know in my household there's always something to do or I could do nothing and just relax and watch YouTube or read a book or something like that. Ooh. My daughter Mally's the camera person right now. Oh, I should have took my ring off, but yeah, you can see it's it's kind of sticky. It's not like falling off onto my hands, but it's stickier than a bread dough. Um, so I'm just gonna plop it in there, and I'll quick just do a little spray on top of it. I'll cover it. Woo! Mr. Mays is over here. And um, I'll cover it with a tea towel. And we're just going to stick it in the oven with just the oven light on for an hour and a half. And then we'll be back. All right, guys. It's been an hour and a half. The buzzer just went off. So I'm just getting the dough out of the oven. You can see it's risen. Um, probably a little more than twice its size but that's what we want it's a nice smooth dough I'm gonna flip this screen around so I can see what I'm filming there all right and in that time I got a few things done Mr. Mays had a shower I got a few of the house chores done but yeah my hands are all washed I took my thumb ring off and now what we're gonna do is just punch it down push it down let some of the air out of it I reserved some flour here just so we can put some on the table when we need it. So we'll push it down. Perfect. And I just put a, a dusting. I, I won't need this whole cup, but I like I like to have it, you never know, just in case. 
So we bring it out of the bowl. smaller but that's homemade right I need to get one of these dough cutters Whew. just go slipped on the floor and um, I'll just show you how I divide this up real quick well I'll, I'll fast forward it so you can see well, I think I'll zoom in a little bit too because I, I did another little film a little while ago and I had you guys way up here so let me just bring you in a little bit so you can see a bit better. So I'll divide the dough up and uh, you'll see how, see how I do it. some are smaller but you'll watch me um, and I'll pull a little bit from here and there to add to the smaller ones but um, I'll do I'll see if I can bring it in my camera's not the greatest but I'll bring it in well actually I'll do most of them and then I'll bring it back and show you up close how I do it so yeah okay I'm not gonna have quite 24 I could have made 24 but that's the good thing for me. I, I like homemade, and they're not all the same size. I'll insert a picture of these pans before we make them and rise them and all that jazz. Uh, yeah, I have you zoomed in real far. So I have three left to do. Um, yeah. Uh, no, back this way. I'm trying to look at my little viewer. So what I do, um, I just take it and squeeze it. I Make sure your hands are super clean, guys. I wear gloves with most of my cooking, but when it comes to dough and stuff, I gotta use my bare hands because you gotta feel, you gotta feel the texture. So I uh, try to get it into a ball, roll it around. Some people can do it on the table really well, and I can do it, but I like to do it in my hands more often than not. But um, I should say I got this recipe from Noreen from Noreen's Kitchen. If you haven't checked out her channel. I'll leave her link below of how she makes her hamburger buns. This is her recipe, or that's where I got it from. Um, and I've never went back since. Um, sometimes, I, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes you do buy store-bought hamburger buns. Because uh, if it's a snap decision, this takes a little time. But the good thing about home baking is um, you can make 12 of these. Or you can make 48 of these and it's about the same you just need the ingredients if you're making a mess you might as well make a big mess if you've got a lot of people to feed so we're just shy <laughs> one so we'll have 23 buns but some are small buns some are big buns some are medium buns um, but I can guarantee they'll all get eaten 
Um, a good thing, I, I use my homemade hamburger buns for anything that it calls for buns, but I'm thinking if there's um, buns left, which I'm sure there will be a few, Sloppy Joe's will be an easy lunch for, for the kids tomorrow. Well, not just for the kids. Um, yeah, we'll have Sloppy Joe's with homemade buns and some dill pickles. That's a good combo. So let me zoom you back out, and you guys can see what we did. And then we're gonna have to uh, let this rise for another hour. So just a second, guys. All right, is that driving you crazy without the extra bun there? It kind of gets to me, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. But these are our buns, and they're so easy. Um, so you see me roll them, you know, squish them, roll them, and then squish them down. Like, these are about to go back in the oven, covered with a clean tea towel, and let rise for another hour. You'll see, <laughs> I'll take a before and after picture so you'll be able to tell the difference. But they'll rise, and then after that, it's a quick bake in the oven, and uh, we're done. So uh, I'll bring you back when an hour later when these are all done rising. All right, I just took these out of the oven. Uh, let me move you back a little bit. They're in there a little over an hour. Um, I just got busy doing stuff. But, oh, let me flip it around so I can see what the heck I'm doing. See if you guys can see, that is. So, I forgot to take the before picture, but I think I have one of the before when I made hamburger buns, so I'll, I'll put that there. But as you can see, they're really puffed up. And you gotta be very careful, because they're full of air, because they've risen. And I just melted some butter here, and we're just gonna gently coat these with butter. So it keeps them nice and moist when we put them in. The oven's preheating at 350 degrees, and um, we bake it for 15 to 18 minutes. You just keep an eye on it, and you'll know it's done when it's nice and golden brown, and when you tap it, it sounds hollow. So. Okay, so these, these buns are all glazed, and if you wanted sesame seeds on, I don't have sesame seeds, but this would be the time to put them on after you glazed them with the butter. I'm gonna stick them in the oven as soon as that buzzer goes off, and um, I'll keep an eye on them. I'm gonna set the timer initially for 15 minutes, um, and I'll check them then, and if they're not done, I'll put them in, rotate the pan, and do the next one. So I'm gonna glaze this one, but I'll bring you back after that. Okay guys, the buzzer just went off, so I'm going to take them out of the oven. They look good and they smell good. Now we got to tap them. And they sound hollow to me. So, let's put the other ones in, and I'll bring you back. All right, time for the second pan, and then we'll be done with the buns. Exciting. Woo. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> some of these are humongous, but we got big people and little people in this house, so they can pick which buns they want. So what I did for the first pan, and I didn't show you, but I'll show you what I do here. With the remaining butter that you have, you just do a quick glaze while it's still hot. Oh, my kids are squawking out there, guys. Um, please ignore that if you can hear it. Um, anyways, we just do a quick glaze of it, and then we're going to let these cool completely before I cut it open. I want to cut one now just to show you how pretty they are, but they I haven't had this not turn out ever they they always turn out um and um her recipe she says that you can keep this oh you can keep this in an airtight container for up to a week um i usually use them within a couple of days though to be honest unless you have a really good container that'll keep them fresh but when it's homemade, they'll be good. These would be good for sandwiches or um, pizza subs or whatever. My kids, they'll make cinnamon toast out of these hamburger buns if I let them. 
So there we go. When it's time to cut these open and load up the pork and the coleslaw on it, you'll be able to see what they all look like. Okay, I'm gonna cut up a couple of these buns for my son so you can see. Do you want a big one? Yeah. We'll get one of the big kahunas. Yeah. So, these are still pretty warm. But, we'll cut it. Oh, they're so soft. Can you see that? It looks just like a regular hamburger bun. I'll have to take a picture of it so it gets a better view. But perfect. It's nice and squishy, soft. It's going to be delicious.